Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and today we are doing a timeless reading about love. So what this means is that whenever you're drawn to this video, tune into your intuition, see which pile is calling to you. Now you can choose one pile of cards and take that as a message or you might feel drawn to one pile and then there's kind of a secondary message, okay, from another stack of cards. You could do it that way as well. Sometimes I like to say, well, I'm kind of drawn to number two and then one and then really as a third kind of message, not as strong as the first message, stack number three. Okay. So you could do a lot of different combos. You can visit this video whenever you would like to and whatever you're tuning into in that moment, that is your message. So take a moment here, tune in and see which one is your message. Hi, group one. Let's see what your love message is for today. The first card out we have here is criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. And then we have secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. We have Patience, <laughs> which is White Monte Casino and Yellow Pansy. Your chakra card is the Sacral Chakra and it is Relationships. The number is 12 on that if you're into numerology. Then we have Crystal Cola, Start Fresh. Let's see here. Can I do this a little bit differently? <laughs> Let me move these over. Let's do that. There we go. And then we have Labradorite, see the magic. I'm going to tell you right now, all of this makes me feel like we're having a rough relationship here. Things aren't going well. You're kind of wondering why you got into it in the first place. And you, I think, are the secret admirer. I know, our ego is like, who loves me? <laughs> and I'm sure everybody does. Of course they do. But I, I really strongly feel like you have your eye elsewhere. Now, singles, don't you think for a second I would forget you, okay? You are my people, <laughs> so I'm not gonna forget you. This definitely, this then, if you're single, this means that this is maybe a pattern that you have within relationships. Either you do a lot of criticizing out of fear of being judged and rejected, trying to catch what could possibly go wrong before it does, or you're used to getting into partnerships where you get criticized a lot, okay? Those are not healthy. People do not have the right to diminish you. So I definitely want everyone, whoever, whether you're with somebody or not with somebody, I want you to listen to this very carefully, this first message here, okay? Don't allow yourself to be criticized and kind of watch when you're doing it to others. And if you do find that you are doing that, just ask yourself what's behind that. Now, Secret Admirer does talk about a potential for a new love, but you have to be patient. <laughs> like, look at that. So that does not mean like, okay, so let's say you're with somebody, it doesn't necessarily indicate that you are, you know, not completely ending one and then getting with another partner, but rather letting one solution, or excuse me, one situation find its solution and even out and giving yourself some time to regenerate before you go moving on. Because if you move from one relationship to the next, this is a message that's just coming up right now, you will run into the same problems. If you are single, same idea here. If you don't give yourself time to open up to the idea of what you truly want in a relationship, or you keep pushing love away, like I, you know, I think you might have a crush on somebody, but definitely if you're single, someone has a crush on you too. And you might be doing a little dance here <laughs> around somebody and waiting for things to, you know, maybe blossom. But the thing is, we have that patience card right next to it, which is saying, again, if you're single, you know, make sure you aren't just going into the same old, same old lessons. Make sure you're not just trying to get with somebody to heal a wound or to fill a void, but to actually 
take the time to work on whatever this pattern is, whatever direction this goes, whether you're the one that gets criticized or you're criticizing others, this is what needs to happen first. And then relationships. We have this card here. This is about awakening your uh, center of intimacy. And intimacy doesn't even have to just be physical intimacy, but rather how can you be yourself within a relationship? And here's a huge message for a lot of you watching this. Stop conforming to other people just so they like you in a relationship. Okay, thank you. Uh, it's hard though, I'm joking. <laughs> it's really hard to not, um, you know, maybe keep your mouth closed just to make things work. Uh, or to go ahead and, now if you're really in love and you really want to move, then do it. But how often do people get into relationships and they suddenly have to be an accessory to the other person's life and to their choices? And it's not always gender specific, okay? It's not always that. I have a friend who, he's male, and I'm trying to be careful with how I give this example. He's male, his girlfriend, um kind of runs him, you know, and he just cares and loves for her so much. And so he doesn't want to make waves. And so he just goes along, right? So you're figuring out how can you make your relationships more even, okay? How can you kind of graduate to this sacredness? How can you make your relationships more sacred? And look at the combo here <laughs> of colors. We have every single color that goes up to the heart chakra. And that's where they meet to have a kiss. And of course, they are grounded they're on equal level here and that that's what you need to be working towards now for some of you out there you're like well I'm in a love partnership and I'm perfectly happy then it would be highly unusual that you would be watching a love reading okay I just want to put that out there <laughs> if everything's good you're not going to be asking questions right so this might be a message for you too right here this one this one's probably the most universal card of them all, this one. So be aware of that. Then we have Chrysocolla, start fresh. So if you're in a relationship and there's been some trouble, you're working through this, maybe you fall in love again with your current partner once you work through some things, but again, it's gonna take a long time and you need to start fresh. Overall, most of you who are watching this, it's a matter of letting go of an old habit and <laughs> for I would say about 70% of you, you're just having a fresh start in a new situation, okay? Because I have a lot of singles watching this. So you're letting go of some of your old habits, you know, the old way, like you maybe put on a show for someone to try to prove that you're fun and you know, you're worth being in this relationship. And that's really unnecessary because you know, when you get with somebody and you're getting to know them, you, first of all, you can take it slowly, patience. And <laughs> secondly, you know, you don't have to conform to anybody else's idea of who you should be. And that's what you're learning right now. Yes. Now, the other portion of the audience who would be watching this, you're having some issues within a current partnership. If you come to some understanding and some sense of truth, you can revamp or you'll, you know, either you'll revamp or you'll move on. But regardless, you'll get your clarity. You'll know exactly how to start fresh, okay? And this is very teachable moment kind of <laughs> energy. It's realizing, okay, I never wanna go down that road again. That wasn't fun. This isn't how we're doing it kind of thing. Then we have Labid right here, okay? And it says, see the magic. So this is following your intuition, knowing your worth. Not, I'm not encouraging people because there are a lot of people out there who just have to have constant validation. They could have the most amazing relationship, the most beautiful partner, and they don't realize what they have. They need someone new constantly to show them that they're validated, that they're wanted, that they're desired. This Labradorite card says, first and foremost, let's forget the words for just a moment, it says tune into your intuition. If you do that, if you're somebody who needs constant validation, you tune into your intuition, see what's offered to you. See what still comes up that needs to be healed, okay? 
Uh, for some of you also, you're like, I knew it. I knew that that person kind of had a crush on me, <laughs> right? So <laughs> that is, yes, you could definitely take this as validation. However, having a secret admirer, like I said at the top of the read, I feel like this is more you being the secret admirer, but even having a secret admirer, as much as that is beautiful, it doesn't guarantee a relationship, <laughs> right? It doesn't guarantee that the person is on the same page as you. So use your intuition as you are, you know, kind of sifting through this moment, whatever your situation is, and try to see the magic. The magic is, is that love exists at all. The magic is, is that two souls can incarnate and find one another and go through a lot of lessons together. There's something incredibly spiritual about the experience that you're having right now. There's something, that's why the intuition is kind of knocking on the door here and saying, hey, on a soul level, maybe you are getting to the bottom of why you need constant admiration. Maybe you are getting to the bottom of why you allow people to criticize you. Maybe you're getting to the bottom of, hey, it's time to stop criticizing yourself, excuse me, stop criticizing yourself, <laughs> right? And open yourself up to love, okay? Let me see if there's any other kind of overall, let me just kind of tune in here. Hmm. A lot of people are setting a surface level expectation around love, a surface level expectation and you maybe keep finding yourself unfulfilled, um, unsatisfied, or just, and then it's very easy to blame the partner. I mean, in some cases, maybe it is the partner, but we always need to look at what do we bring to the table, okay? So that's an important message for a lot of you who are watching this. And breaking the old habits, breaking the old habits of being so fearful and saying, no, 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 I'm gonna push you out before you can push me out because I just can't possibly stand the thought of being left. Or no, 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 I'm not gonna even bother going down that road. I mean, I want love, but when love is on offer, I feel fear and I run away, <laughs> right? Or whatever the case may be. But definitely, here's what you wanna strive for, lovely balance in the lower chakras, and then of course, these are higher chakra representations yes so someone who is on uh your wavelength we say that a lot but uh not trying to just take someone that you decide is going to be with you and then you're trying to like mold them energetically mold them so that they are even with you this comes from learning from one another and that learning cannot be forced all right so i hope that was helpful Okay, group two, let's see what you have for your love message here. First card out is acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. And then we have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> there you go. That's a big buzzword for you, acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So this is a big message of someone's trying to hurry up and force change. They're uncomfortable. They're uh, saying, no, it shouldn't be like this. There, I, I'm hearing a little bit of self-righteousness coming up too within a partnership. Or if you're single, this is getting a little like, okay, universe, you know, I've done all the manifesting. I've done all the stuff. Where's the love? I'm tired of being alone. I'm tired of you know, dating losers, right? I'm tired of every time I think it's going to work, it doesn't. You know, I'm tired of, some of you might even feel like the universe sort of keeps teasing out relationships, a lot of false starts. Here's the thing. When we're talking about acceptance and trusting, this has a lot to do with timing, okay? For many of you who are looking for new love, if you are looking to improve your current circumstances with another person, yeah, I mean, there are just, some people can't be on our timeline, <laughs> right? And this is saying that things are in, they're in transformation. So you have to kind of accept that things are messy or you have to kind of accept that you're alone right now because there are still things that are unfolding. Transformation is occurring. And so even though things don't look exactly the way that you want, and that sounds a little uncomfortable, and some of you might have even just clicked on, don't forget we have other cards here, okay? <laughs> uh, some of you clicked on this, it's like, man, why did I choose that 
deck of cards. Like, why did I do that? <laughs> because this is just a whole lot of just like, take it as it is, let it unfold. But this is asking you that word trust is saying, hey, don't give up. Don't give up. Once you accept what's going on here, everything will transform. Then we have appreciation, sunflower, Diana, oh boy, fertil fertility, forget that. I don't even know. <laughs> the word is appreciation, okay? This is saying be appreciative of where you are right now and be appreciative if you have a partner, be appreciative that you are learning this lesson right now. Uh, that is an energy that helps transform. If you are single, have some appreciation that you can come and go as you please and you don't have to wait on anybody else, <laughs> right? Have some appreciation that, you know, you can live the way that you want. You can leave the dishes in the sink for a night if you care to, and nobody's going to be on you about that. So, and, and no one's there to control either. If you tend to be someone who's in a controlling situation, that, that's a message for someone out there. <laughs> okay. So be very, very careful with that. So this also has to do with whatever your circumstances are, you're going through major transformation. Things are rumbling. Things are not looking the way you had always envisioned. Um, and the energy of acceptance and appreciation, yes, that is going to help inform the transformation. So if you can trust the process, no, I don't want to, you just set yourself back, okay? No, I want it to be like, no, you just set yourself back. Acceptance and appreciation leads to transformation, yes? And once that occurs, now your whole situation is turning around. Okay, so this I believe is supposed to be the throat chakra. This is a new deck of cards, so I have to keep kind of referring back to what the author's intention was. So this is throat chakra. The number is 23, which is the number of change. It reduces to five. It's change. It's not destruction, but something needs to get rehabilitated here. Yes, your approach to relationships, uh, how you view yourself within partnership, what you think you're entitled to, yes, or not entitled to. There, there's a lot of divide here where there are some people, they just don't allow themselves to be treated well or they put up with somebody when they probably, you know, I, I, I'm not here to tell you what to do in your relationships. <laughs> I'm just telling you that, you know, here's the energy, you do with it what you will. But if you're in a situation where someone doesn't value you, and yet you stay. Maybe you stay because they're hot. <laughs> I laugh because we've all done it, right? Um, or maybe someone, you know, you just don't feel like you can have a conversation with them. Whatever the, whatever the case may be, this is asking you to get to some truth and to allow change to occur. Look at this. So here's the scales. This is water, this is fire. <laughs> so this could indicate that there's a water sign with a fire sign, or if you are single, this could indicate that here's, you know, one of, this is representing one of you, right? One of these is you. And then whatever kind of partner you tend to bring in. So maybe you're, let's say you're water, you're a water sign. Maybe you tend to attract in someone with a lot of fire in their chart. And you're at odds with one another all the time. Okay, so this can, and you can get very, very heated, <laughs> right? So this truth is saying, you know what? Maybe I do need to stand up for myself more. Maybe I do need to not get so sucked in with a partner that might make me look good, yes? Um, or, you know, again, if you're already with a partner, you're trying to remain balanced by honoring each other's power. This water can put out that fire, <laughs> you know, pretty easily, um, and yet this can make this water boil. So... <laughs> <laughs> this might be the energy of someone's relationship out there, but you need to get to the truth. The truth is that something needs to change. Yes. So five, the number of change, the discovery of the need for change, and then the number six becomes destruction. So this is a dark, gloomy background I'm noticing here too. Let me tune into this a little bit more because, yeah, if you chose this pile, there's a feeling of being very troubled. You know, as much as we're trying to be lighthearted here and joking around and whatever, there's definitely a heaviness here. Perhaps, am I ever going to be loved? And the answer is yes. Absolutely. Are you going through a big change right now? Yes. 
Absolutely. Are you going to discover how to, hmm, I was going to say how to change your course, but then I, I had this feeling of like the internal energy making a turn. So it's like a graduation in some sense for a lot of you who are listening to this. You're moving on to the next phase. Now, what that looks like on the surface is up to you. Remember, you are co-creating with the universe, so you have free will. I'm not here to tell you to leave anybody. <laughs> I would never do that. Um, but you trust the process. Yeah, there's an alchemical thing happening with you. There's something, uh, the internal energy is shifting. And I wish I could tell you, you might want to revisit this video and you know, tune in at that time to see what you know, what uh, stack of cards draws you in to see if things progress. But there is a little bit of, no, 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 you can't go through that, or you can't go to that next phase yet. You can't go to that next stage until you learn something. And that is appreciating what you have and being truthful with why you are the way that you are in relationships. What are your relationship patterns? This is the truth about a potential love partner for some of you too. You know it wouldn't work out. And yet, that fire is awfully bright, isn't it? <laughs> or that water looks awfully good when it's hot, right? When it's hot out, you wanna just jump into a pool, right? <laughs> so like, there can be something that, because it's so opposite, you do kind of balance each other out, and yet you can be destructive for one another. So that's the truth there with a potential love partner for some of you. But again, there's a personal transformation happening here. Let's see what else we have. Oh, tarmelated quartz, get out of your own way. <laughs> so there is that. And then we have aquamarine, go with the flow. So another kind of watery, free flowing kind of card. And this is very, very peaceful too. And it has a lot to do with angelic, the aquamarine here has a lot to do with angelic communication. Okay, so lean on your angels here. Try to just silence everything and try to silence the drama for just a moment. If you can get some alone time, you know, this is a need for clearing. There could be a lot of arguing going on. Maybe you're trying to make something work. You're dating. You're trying to make something work with somebody because they seem like the only option. They're not the only option. They're not the only option. All right. That tourmalated quartz, get out of your own way. Look at how many paths. I feel are kind of represented in this crystal, <laughs> right? It's like you could go in so many different directions, but the, what, what do you keep choosing? What do you keep, you keep choosing somebody who's not quite right, doesn't really mesh. And where does that come from? Well, it comes from the mind. It comes from conditioning. So that's part of getting out of your own way, doing the work to discover that, to tap into your inner voice and into your heart, going with the flow, having some appreciation for where you are right now and for the gift of being even able to figure this out, okay? It's a big part of your soul's path. Uh, and going with the flow says, you know what? I'm gonna let whatever happens happen. I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna argue. I'm not gonna beat myself up if I'm single. I'm not just going to go date someone because they show interest in me. How many of you have heard that one? Comment down below but they like you, give them a chance. And you're like, uh, <laughs> like we're, we have nothing in common <laughs> whatsoever. Or that person seems a little mean. I don't want to date them, right? So this is you getting honest with yourself. What is it that you want? What are your patterns? Yes. Can you find a way to accept and trust what is unfolding? Appreciate that you're being, maybe in some cases, some of you are being warned by someone or you know, by your spiritual team about someone. Have some appreciation for that. You keep tormenting yourself. <laughs> There's a truth to be faced. And once you face that truth, you'll start the process of getting out of your own way and going with the flow. And that's where you can start either transforming a current dynamic so that it's healthier or becoming from a healthier place so that you can draw in a healthy love partnership. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Okay, group three, let's see what your love message is. Okay, 
So first up, we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. Single people, stay with me here. And then we have beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Then we have peace, olive, southern comma. Okay, and your chakra card is an earth star chakra grounding. The number is four, so angels are helping with this sacred union. So if you are single, helping you with some sort of soul contract to get with the right person, or if you're with somebody, trying to work it out, okay, there's something very maybe karmic <laughs> going on here, but there's something sacred. You're learning something within this dynamic, but we'll get into that here in just a moment. But there's a need for grounding within this. So some of you are getting lost in this relationship and you're just kind of focused on the fact that, oh, I'm just so in love with being in love, some of you, um, that you kind of wonder if this is going to last, not unless you do this, okay, not unless you do some grounding. For those of you who are single, you're saying, hey, I'm looking for that sacred union. You have to accept this, the fact that what you see in another is also in you for good or for bad. And you need to be grounded. The grounding for a love partner, this goes if you're single or not single. This is about expectations. You know, if you want the fairy tale, then you're going to get pretty upset when your love partner leaves dirty socks in the middle of the floor, <laughs> right? You're going to kind of be like, this is not what I signed up for, right? So this is also being grounded uh, within yourself, yes? So when you are strong, you've put down good roots, you, you know, you're growing of your own accord, and then somebody else comes along, they are being the reflection of you. So what kind of partner do you want to draw in? Do you want somebody who's not completely uh, grounded themselves? And then it's always up to you to be the one to ground them? It's very draining, right? Or do you want something where it is equal? It is fair. <laughs> it is, you know, again, very, very, this has like a sensual kind of feeling about it too. Anything kind of earthy is very sensual. So what are your priorities when it comes to to either finding love or improving the love that you have. With a sacred union, this would be that kind of like soulmate energy where people are like, oh, I just want my soulmate, I just want my soulmate, I just want everything to be so terrific. <laughs> and I get that 100%. However, the soulmate comes with all the lessons. They're the ones that come in and they ruffle your feathers. They challenge you to set boundaries. You might be very challenging to your partner. Or if you're single, historically, what have been the patterns there? And if you've never been in a partnership, because I feel like there's a handful of you out there, this is a big reason why you don't want to face yourself. And when you're in a relationship, you can't help but face yourself. Now, having a good love flow, whether you're looking for a partner, or you're trying to even things out <laughs> with a current partner, we have the peace card over here. So these two go together quite nicely. So you have to be at peace within yourself and quit fighting what is. That's that's a big message that's coming up. Stop fighting what is. We have Lapita Light. Recall your dreams. So here is an important thing. Let me tell you about this. A long time ago, I was engaged to be married, had the wedding planned and everything. And I started to have dreams. I'm not saying that this is going to be happening to you guys, okay? But I had a dream where I saw a woman could see very clearly what she looked like and I had a feeling in this dream that my fiance was cheating on me and I told my fiance about the dream and he laughed and I even described the woman in the dream and he darted his eyes away and laughed again and said you're crazy are you insane I'm not cheating on you I mean come on turns out he was cheating on me and with a woman that looked exactly like the woman I had dreamed of Again, I'm not offering this as an example to be suspicious of a love partner or to be scared of getting into a love partnership. What I'm saying is that your soul is powerful. And when something is not right for you, even if it's painful to discover it, whether that's something that you need to work on within yourself or some truth that you have to come to about the dynamic that you're in, 
it can come up within your dreams. So conversely, you might be dreaming of someone, um, like let's say you're single and you're dreaming of somebody who just keeps popping up in your head. That might be an indicator that that is a sacred union that could be coming in. But be careful with this because you, you really have to be tuned into your heart to make sure that that's what it is. Because you could have a dream about a coworker who just happened to be the last person you saw before you, le <laughs> you left work. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go pursue that person because they're your sacred partner. I've seen people go off the rails with this. I've seen people go off the rails and like pursuing people that are not right for them whatever okay but if you do feel like let's say you have a dream about something and you wake up and you feel like this immense love this kind of love that you've never experienced in this earthly realm you know that's the kind of thing to pay attention to the other thing that's coming up here is that if you want a sacred union to you know sort of retain its sacredness which it will anyway but if you want to experience that sacredness whether you're currently paired or single I have to keep saying that um, just to remind people that I'm thinking of all of you. <laughs> right? uh, this could be things coming up in your dreams that you have to address. We all, a lot of people walk around going, oh, I don't need any work. Everybody needs work. Everybody is working on something or else you would not be human. Lapidolite absorbs toxic wavelengths too, by the way. I want to put that out there. So if you have a dream, I don't know, like if you have a dream that your teeth are falling out, that's usually some fear of not being good enough or pretty enough or handsome enough or what have you. And if that is happening in your dream, you might want to look at that and let some of that toxicity be absorbed. So we want to be anchored. There could be something with some strong lessons coming along or they're already for you and remember everything you see in another is also within you try to come to peace with what is and boom <laughs> here we go so we have angel aura quartz lighten up so this is saying you know there are things within the relationship that might be weighing heavily on your mind yeah, I just wanted to tune into this because there's a feeling here of detoxing there's like a big feeling of detoxing here Stop trying to control the situation. Be at peace with what is. Of course, your angelic team is here to help you. That goes without saying. There's a union that is being helped. So this could be people being brought together or this could be people, um, I'm hearing being kept apart. Okay, that's interesting. So... Just try to go with the flow here because some of you might have a partner who's away from you right now and it can be very daunting. So they're telling you to not, not get, try to be at peace, okay? Don't let things drain your energy. Overall, let's do an overall read on this. We are talking about pushing too hard to either have a relationship or to keep a relationship or to keep power in a relationship and not being aware that everything that you think of in a partner is also in you, okay? So I, going back to that example that I was giving you about having a dream about my ex-fiance cheating on me. Now, I didn't cheat on him, but you know what? I didn't want to be there. And it was not something that I would admit to myself. I actually didn't feel much in that arrangement. <laughs> and I call it an arrangement because that's kind of what it was. I mean, nobody outside of me and him made this arrangement i mean it was up to us but i think we were both just kind of quite frankly lonely and tired of being single and we're like okay you okay fine and then we were so scared of being alone again and being lonely that we held on that's a truth that can come out that's part of that projection so me looking at him and going you made me a victim in this situation when in fact i stayed in a situation i didn't want to be in you see what I'm saying? And this could be the facilitator right here. Your dreams, the subconscious, you know, anything that's coming up to try to warn you. So be, uh, be paying attention to that. But again, you always, any kind of message that you get through your dreams, you have to filter it through your heart. Don't just let it sit in the intellect and then you jump to conclusions. Yes? So 
feel it throughout your whole body. You know the truth of it. You know you're learning some deep, sacred lessons here. But look at all this. Th these two are really kind of cracking me up because here's all this heaviness <laughs> over here. It's like tough lessons. It's like realizing, you know, what you see in a partner is also in you. We said that 20,000 times. Um, you might be having some funny dreams going on here. Now, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. It's just very Saturnian. So if you chose this group, <laughs> you've got some deep soul level stuff going on here. But it's not, it might seem for some, for some people out there, might seem bad on the surface. But it's not, okay? Come to peace with being single. Come to peace with the relationship that as it is. And it doesn't mean you have to accept uh, bad treatment. We would never tell you that. But you can transform, yes? You can transform through this dynamic and you can find your peace. You can find your higher frequency, okay? So I hope that was helpful. We're going to leave it there. And I'm sending you all so much love. Take care. Bye-bye.